The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Wednesday night habits of health call. I'm Craig Blanchett, and it's my uh, it's really my privilege to be with you tonight. The um, we've been going through this series of the elements, uh, a, a a walk through the elements. And so tonight, if you don't have it, you want to go grab your your life book, um, and we're going to be going through element three tonight. So, um, by the way, for those of you that are um, uh, that are tuning in, and maybe you've been tuning in for a while, this was birthed, literally, this new version of the Habits of Health Transformation System was released in August. So just at the beginning of this month, if you can believe that, right? And so we've had it now for a little while. And if you haven't ordered your own copy, I suggest you order that because it really is a complete system now rather than a series of books um, that may or may not um, have been um, easily connected. So um, go ahead and take a minute and, and uh, when you on your next order, and go ahead and order those. Um, it is promised to change your life for the better. So um, let me share my screen here. We're going to go through a little bit, by the way. Hello, everybody. I see you're tuning in and telling us where you're from. Uh, somebody had a major breakthrough this week. That's pretty exciting. And so, like I said before, my name is uh, Craig Blanchett, and this is Element 3, uh, which talks about how do you create what you want, obviously, in your life. Um, you can actually do this in many areas of your life, and obviously, the big picture of having a life that looks like what you want it to look like. And that takes uh, time and intention. And so we're going to go through that tonight. This is the transformation system, by the way. It comes with the Habits of Health 2.0 or second edition. That is a reference guide. A lot of my clients have asked me, which one do I read first? And I tell them it's the life book. Your life book is the one you want to start with. And where do you start at? You start at the first page where it has this little circle that says, this book belongs to, and you write your name there. That's how you get started, all right? And then you're gonna just go through one element at a time. So tonight we're going over element three. Um, Habits of Health, second edition, the life book, or your life book, and then there's the app, which is the micro habit installation tool. And so that um, is all three of those come in the system. While you're waiting for your kit to come, you can download the app. Go to your app store and type in Habits of Health and you can download that now. And so um, I don't know how much you guys know about that whole system, but we're talking about macro habits and micro habits. And macro, think big. Micro, think small. So we have six macro habits that we're going to go through um, as you work through your life book. And each one of those macro habits has a bunch of tiny, tiny, tiny little supporting habits that actually support and hold up the macro habit, right? And so that's how the whole system looks and that's how it's all designed to work better. They will uh, work best. There will be times when you are going through your life book and it will refer you to the Habits of Health book. And that's when you pull it off the shelf and then you dive in there. So it's a little bit different from people that have been around a while. It's different than the previous system and it's better. It's actually really, really good. So um, be careful because it's gonna change your life. So um, in this element, <clears throat> we will discuss the strategies, the tools and the methods that are going to equip you to create optimal health and well-being. 
I love those two words, optimal health, right? So you can be healthy, but well-being is like this sweetness that comes along with being healthy. Well-being, I just love that word. We're going to explore the steps that you can take to create what you want in your life. So we're going to, first of all, figure out what you want. And then we're going to figure out how do we reverse engineer to make that happen, right? If you were cooking brownies, I know it's a terrible example, but if you decided you want brownies, then we have to explore the steps that you would need to create those brownies, right? And we all have tasty, healthy brownies as being part of our Optavia family. We're also going to discover the tools that will help you move forward, uh, create sustainable and long-term change. So by a raise of hands, who would like short-term unsustainable change? Anyone? Oh, the chat just went mute. That's right. I've, I've talked to so many people, um, so many clients. I've coached thousands of them. And people will say, I'll ask them, so how many times have you lost weight? And they say, oh, many times. And I say, so after you lose your weight this time, how soon before you'd like to gain it back? And they look at me like I've just insulted them. But the likelihood of them gaining it back is very, very high unless they have a system that's going to change, literally change the way the thought processes that they have in their mindset. And they don't get changed by themselves. We actively change them. So that's what we're talking about here, creating sustainable, long-term change. I don't know about you, but everybody I've ever talked to, when they're talking about something getting better, they want it to be sustainable and long-term, right? Can put a 10 in the chat if that's you. Boom, we just blew up the chat. All right, so we're also gonna um, empower you to evaluate your process and to adjust little adjustments along the way. Think of the little adjustments like you're on your way to Disneyland, and I know I always use that analogy, and along the way, you may take an extra bathroom break that you didn't plan, or you may have to stop and get gas for some when you didn't plan that. So you're gonna make these little adjustments along the way. What if on the way there happens to be a road closure or some road construction? So you make a little detour and you work it out, but your destination is really clear in your mind. Does that make sense? All right, so <clears throat> how do you create what you want? I'm gonna talk about this concept a little bit here. Um, the idea of, um, two ways of living. One of these ways is the default that we have as human beings. And it is what I call a passive life. In other words, you are born and you grow one day older every day. And then you have certain experiences that you have that, that might cause you pain and you'll react and you'll change course. So, most people have a life that is essentially bouncing off pain points and they end up somewhere in their life, but it may not be where they want to be. So that's a passive lifestyle where next week is pretty much going to look like last week, right? Now, how about an op opportunity to, to live a different style of life, uh, a life of authorship? Think about that. If, if you were an author in your life, what kinds of story would you write? What things would you have in that story? So this, this, um, this life book that you're going through is going to help you write a story from this point in your life into the future. Think of that everything you've experienced up to this point in your life was chapter one. And every year from this point forward, is another chapter. I wonder what chapter two is going to have in it, right? So we're going to talk about that tonight, and we're going to sh show you how to create what you want in the future as you become an author in your life. I heard someone say this. It was really powerful. Your life story will be written. Who will be holding the pen? I'll say that again. Your life story will be written. Who will be holding the pen? So 
In this system, uh, Dr. A, in this particular element, Dr. A talks about having a system and why a system is important. Do you know why a system is actually important? I'm going to stop my screen share for a second here. A system is important uh, because you want your results to be repeatable and then you want them to be predictable. Unpredictable change doesn't do us very much good. Predictable change that makes us better is what we all want. So um, one of the things that you can do by, by plugging into the system, there will be a predictable change that's engineered to transform your life for the better, right? Now think of this, another, another analogy here, um, and why I think it's so important that we write stuff down. It's not why I think that, it's why science proves it. There are many ways to organize your goals in life. Um, most people will have your goals and some ideas and dreams, and you just kind of keep those in your mind's eye. They're just come kind of up there in your mind. So <clears throat> the problem with that is that if they're in your mind only, where do you change them? You change them in your mind. And usually, <clears throat> here's an example. And, and after I say this, if this resonates with you, you can put an amen in the chat. <clears throat> you go to an event. <clears throat> you have an idea of what you want to happen, a goal. You get to the event, and they have your favorite food that's not on plan. And so you decide to change your plan because it was only in your mind anyway. Put an amen in the chat if you've ever done that. <clears throat> I can see a few of you, yes. <laughs> yes, we've all done that, right? So what if instead we actually were writing down what we wanted to happen, and if we changed it, there was a little bit more um, resistance to changing our plan because it was more of an actual plan. <clears throat> so next up, Dr. A talks about the consistency is the difference maker. And these are, these are all in this element here. Uh, consistency piece. <clears throat> if you have your book open, uh, we can actually take you to that. It is on the, um, let's see here. I had it written down here. I'm going through my pre-copy here. So uh, the reality of what you're doing here is that you don't want to miss a day because it is actually consistency. And so that is um, under the journaling piece. Um, uh, not the journaling piece. Well, it is on the page that says it takes 66 days, right? And so 66 days, it's when it's going to be necessary for you to build that habit. All right. I'm trying to find, oh, there it is right there. <clears throat> it is on, man, well, it's on page 118 in my book. So um, anyhow, all, all that to say is that consistency is the difference maker. All things that you repeat become a habit. That's actually how habits are built. And if you repeat something that serves you over and over and over again, then that will become a habit. It will become second nature to you. If you repeat something that doesn't serve you, it too will become a habit. So habits are actually, they're, they're, not, um, they're not specific to anything. They're not good. They're not bad. They're not evil or, or holy. A habit is merely something that you do over and over again. And who decides what we do? Well, that's us. We get to determine what we do. So you can build a habit around anything. Hopefully, you will decide that you can, you'll start to build habits on things that serve you and simply by doing something over and over and over, all right? So then Dr. A talks a little bit about um, the reality of that w when we do something, we need it to be uh, a couple of things. We need it to be, first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, is it appealing, right? So as you decide that there's something that you want to do, you have to ask three questions. Do I want to do it, right? So whatever it is you're looking at, maybe it might be getting stronger, all right? So that's the idea of, the, of a habit that you're about to install. 
I want to be stronger in my body. All right. So first question you ask yourself is, is it appealing? Do I want to do it? The second one is, can I actually do it? Can I actually get stronger? Right. And the third one is setting up something so it's easily activated. So the process of getting stronger is not getting stronger tomorrow. It's doing something that will make you stronger tomorrow, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. So, and we'll talk about that. By the way, for those of you that are wondering, <clears throat> each one of us that is on this call, this webinar tonight, um, is a client who has a coach. Every one of us, right? And so what Optavia does, by the way, is we don't keep health to ourselves. We want to pay it forward. We want health for everyone. And so Optavia has an amazing program that actually transfers the skills of coaching from as a client when you become a coach or decide to help others. We actually train you and we've got a system to do that. And so this is a little coaching guide that we have. And it actually has in the coaching guide, element three, what do you want to create? So as a coach, I know exactly what the objective of the lesson is about. I know where to reference. And then I know what's next. And then it has over here key questions that I ask my clients. And later on, we're going to get to hear from, from one of my uh, clients her name's Patty, who she's also a coach. And I was actually asking her these three questions and she just completed element three. We're going to hear from here in a few minutes. So <clears throat> anyway, so, so for those of you that are wondering or thinking about would coaching be for me, it's, it's fantastic. We've, we've really got a nice system here for you. And so, <clears throat> so getting back to what I said before, is it appealing? Is it achievable? And is it easy to activate? Those are the things that you want. <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you a little uh, a little analogy. When you're thinking about these kinds of things, and I'm going to switch over to my um, uh, where is it at? There it is. <clears throat> We're going to share my screen again. So we think about this word called is structural tension. And the word structural tension, oddly enough, <clears throat> comes from a composer. In in music, you have um, tension that builds with music. And then it gets to a point where it crescendos and it resolves, right? And then there's structure built in to how music is made. And so you have structure and tension and the structure is to resolve the tension. So it's structural tension resolution and that's music essentially. So structural tension in this way, what we're trying to do is we're figuring out what would we like to see happen? Where are we now? And then what do we need to do to get there? And so what I've done with a lot of people is we're thinking about these kind of habit loops. I think about, here's an example. Let's say you're going on a cruise, all right? You're gonna go, it doesn't really matter where you go, but you're going on a cruise. And what you'll do is I ask my clients when, because it's pretty, they're pretty clear why they wanna go on the cruise and they're pretty clear as to how to get on the cruise. So all of those things are already well-known well known factors. So what I ask them is I'll say, um, Susie, when you get off the ship, how do you want to be? So you fast forward to the result of when you get off the ship, because everybody wants to have a great time on the ship. But now that the great time is over and I show up with my luggage and I'm getting off the ship, do, how do I want my clothes to fit? How do I want to feel? Do I want to be hung over? Do I want to be feeling gross? Do I want to be ready for this vacation to be over? Because, oh my goodness, I did not make very good choices. So fast forward to when I get off, I want to feel, I want to be down five pounds. I want to have a zip to my step. I want all my clothes to just look better and better while I'm on this cruise. So if, if that's your goal, then, and you know that, then that's going to help inform your secondary choices on what you need to do to actually have that uh, become a reality. All right. So here's the habit loop. Habit loops are basically, you, you can set yourself up with a, uh, something that triggers it. 
or another word for a trigger is a cue. And this cue is something that will basically, <clears throat> when this happens, I do this. Um, it might be when I get up in the morning, I go to the bathroom. Or um, when I get out of the shower, I brush my teeth. And so that simple cue routine reward is when I take a shower and I'm done, I brush my teeth. And the result, reward is fresh breath, right? And so this is just a simple thing that you can do. And so you can actually use this structure to install habits and it's called a habit loop. One of the things that I talked to Dr. A about or what he said is he wants to be strong. Actually, he was working with a client and she said that she has having a baby and she wants to be strong to be able to pick up her baby. So she wanted to start doing push-ups so she could get stronger. So the routine, the cue was brushing my teeth the routine was I do a push up and the reward is I'm getting stronger in my body, right? And the, the element of how this works is we want to make sure that even on our worst day, let's say we get up and we're just not feeling well and we're sick, we can at least do one of whatever it is. And you probably don't have your worst day very often. So the days that aren't your worst days are the days that you do more. So it's a minimum plus. Right? And so now we move to the macro habit of health. And then you have consistency, which is on average 66 days. So you have to at least do one. And then there's some days when you do the plus. Right? So for me, I have my macro habit of health is journaling and it's five minutes a day. And then over enough time of journaling five minutes a day, um, at least 66 days, I'm going to install that habit. Now, there are days when I actually do a little plus. So I might journal for 30 minutes on those particular days. Make sense? And so next up, we're going to talk about, um, you know, your, your immediate gratification. What you want to do is connect what I'm doing right now with something that, that I can tangibly see is moving me forward, right? So it's that present action but it's connected to the long-term reward, right? So that might be on that same cruise. You know that you're going to have fuelings for four of your meals and you're going to have, um, you're going to not eat at the buffet because it's all you can eat. You're going to eat at a restaurant where they control the portion. By the way, that's my strategy for cruising, actually any, any resort. And so I know that when I control my portions that I'm connected to feeling good while I'm on this cruise. And when I get off the ship, I'm going to feel like I want to feel. Make sense? Hope they make sense. So <clears throat> creating a transformative cycle. So this is a, as we're getting towards the end of this here, you have the cue routine and then the instant reward is obviously you're feeling good on the base. The long-term investment is you're maintaining your weight. So this is how you create that cycle. And I want to bring, I want to come off of uh, sharing now and I want to bring on uh, Patty. And so Patty's, um, so I'm going to actually went to high school with Patty. So I've known Patty for many, many years. We won't say our age, but um, yeah, we're, uh, we've known each other for a while. And I've been working with Patty. She, she had amazing personal transformation um, that I'll have her talk about. And then when I was doing our coaching call tonight, um, we still have a coaching call once, once a week and on a regular basis, even though she's been at a healthy weight now for a little while. And so welcome, Patty. Hi, Craig. How are you? Hi. Yeah, I'm doing good. Why don't you just share a little bit with the folks that are watching, just kind of where, on something simple and tangible. So you had a, you had a weight loss um, story. You wanted to lose weight. And tell us a little bit about what that looked like, how right. much you lost. Um, I lost um, 50 pounds, uh, a little over 50 pounds, which was amazing. I feel great. I uh, really needed it in the time of life I'm in. And so I owe a lot to Optavia and having Craig as a wonderful coach mm. and that I'm paying forward to other people. So I yeah. love my clients working with them too. That's perfect. Yeah. And so tonight, as we were talking, because you have the Habits of Health Transformation System, and this is how I'm coaching now. Um, so I just said, what element are you on? And uh, you said element three. And I'm like, are you kidding? That's fantastic. And so actually, I'm just going to kind of go through this with, um, with everybody listening and kind of recap or recreate the call we had earlier. And so as you're going through this, this is 
um, how to create what you want. The simple one is what does this element mean to you now? And what is, as you're reflecting on your life, what did you get out of this? And um, I'm just looking at my book here, my life book. <laughs> and so um, really, really, I learned the habit loop more, um, you know, the cue, routine, reward, and that mainly the micro habits are important to install that. They're mm -hmm. just the micro things, the little things. Um, yeah. because I had one, I've been doing squatting for a while, and that's easy because I, I have a cue to, um, to brush my teeth. So that's mm -hmm. been great. It makes me feel great. I'm accomplishing that. But I've been trying to read my book every day, my life book. That's a challenge. My cue mm -hmm. was when I go to bed. It's on my um, bed, my table next to my bed. But sometimes nights, I'm just like, oh, I'm too tired. I can't look at it. And so I got from another coach this last week that just open your book. That's the little micro thing. If I can't do anything, just open this book, look at it close it. So if it's like super late, I'm super tired, I'm just going to go to bed. But I accomplished one little thing, made me feel wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the last few weeks, I've been able to open my book and actually read it most of the time. Yeah. So it's great. So the minimum, and so as you're talking about your Q routine reward, you want to be working through the life book because there's a long-term benefit of you becoming an author in your life. Right. Your story. right. That's true. I want to make the changes. And yep. And so you want to be able to read a little bit every day. And so the minimum that you would do is open your book. Right. And the days when it's a minimum plus, you might actually read something. And right. so the cue, the cue is you go, to, you go to bed, the routine is you open the book. And then if it's a routine plus, then you would read something. And the benefit is you're building consistency of opening that book every night. Right. That's correct. Right. Yep. And, and so I just you, felt good. It kind of makes me be able to read it because I want to read it. It's going to help me in my future. It's going to help me sleep better at night because I'm not going to be mind on everything else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. Exactly. Benefit. Well, that's awesome. Benefit. What um, Are you noticing that this process is bleeding over into other areas of your life? I mean, how are you, how is this a multifaceted tool? Yeah, I'm just picking up little things like at work, I'm parking away from my <laughs> from the front door so that I'll walk. So that's a cue when I get to work. I don't park up close, even though I'm one of the first people, I park way at the end and walk. And so then mm -hmm. I'm feeling great afterwards. So I'm just trying to see what other parts of my life this will fit into. And so it's been amazing. Okay. And I've been encouraging other people. Yeah, that's so, tremendous. Awesome. That's so good. So there's a real life story of someone that's walking through this. And just like Patty said, she's in the, she just finished element three, but it's been a challenge for her to get connected to it. And so she's using the actual lesson from element three to do the Q routine reward to then actually get to lesson or element four and five and six. So it's, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing with us tonight. That is, um, that's awesome. I'm just going to be finishing up here. I've got a couple more slides here and we're going to be done. So create your transformation cycle. So what you can do is you, what you'll do is you'll write in what is the cue. Maybe you set an alarm. What if you set a smartphone alarm to beep at you when it was time to eat? The routine is you open your bar and you eat it. The instant reward is yummy, s'more, crunchy, right? The long-term investment, I'm getting proteins, carbs, and fats in a perfect, perfect um, uh, arrangement. And then I have 24 vitamins and minerals. And guess what? It's even convenient. So the cue, alarm, routine, open my bar and eat it or drink my shake or whatever. The instant reward is the flavor. And the long-term investment is I'm taking care of my health. And so now it's your turn. What does this element mean to you right now? What does this element give you the opportunity to reflect on? And what actions are you going to take as a result of this element? And by the way, for those of you that are watching this, there is the Lifebook element videos. If you go to YouTube and you type in Optavia, there is a playlist. And if you click on that playlist, it'll be the life book. And Dr. A has about a two to three minute introduction to each one of the elements that you can watch. And so if you haven't done that, I recommend that you do that. Join us next week. We're going to be covering da, 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 element four. And this is building a healthy mindset. And by the way, 
that is actually where health lives. Health doesn't really live in our bodies. It, it help, it, health lives in our minds in the way that we think, think, the way that we feel, and the way that we relate. And then it shows up in our bodies. So thank you all for um, joining in tonight. It has been my pleasure to host. And stay tuned. We have a trilogy call that's coming up, and it's basically talking about uh, how to have a life of abundance and what Optavia offers big picture for everyone. So thank you for joining tonight. It's been my pleasure. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results related in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.